Last time in art, you looked at artwork by Frank Stella, and then you created a drawing using organic shapes, geometric shapes, or both. Today, you're going to be using markers and colored pencils to color in some of the shapes in your drawing. I'm going to show you a couple of tricks for coloring in shapes. If you're using a marker, a good trick is to begin by outlining the inside part of that shape. It's going to make it easier to keep all of the color inside that shape if you outline it first. And then what you can do is use the wide side of your marker and just create lines that go in the same direction. That's going to be an easy way to color in that shape neatly. If you are using colored pencils, you have a couple of options of ways that you can color in with a colored pencil. Um, if you have a bigger area that you need to color in, you can hold your pencil on the side. It helps if it's sharp. And you can shade it in lightly, pretty quickly, by using the side of your pencil. It helps to turn your paper as you're working so that your hand stays comfortable. Another option for colored pencils is to use the tip, especially when you're coloring in a small shape. You can do the same thing we did with a marker and outline that shape first. I'm pressing down hard for this shape to create a darker value or a darker shade. Once I outline the inside, then I can just color it in the same way I would with a marker. You are going to get to decide which shapes you color in and which shapes you leave empty. A shape that's colored in is called positive space. So right now I am creating positive space by coloring in this shape. And shapes that you choose to leave empty, those are called negative space. So any shape that you leave blank is going to be negative space. You don't want to have all of your positive space on one side and all of your negative space on the other. Try and sprinkle your colored in shapes all over your paper so that by the end of class you'll have a good balance of positive and negative space. It's up to you uh, what supplies you want to use. If you want to use all colored pencils or all markers, that is your choice. When you're finished coloring in all of your positive space, let your teacher know and they will let you know what to do for the rest of art class today.